Hello and welcome once again. Uh, we're back in TerraTech having a look at some fabrication techs. I can't take complete credit for, for this fabrication setup that I've been using. Uh, Zero Gravitas, he's much more experienced at this game than I am. I actually took uh, some cues from him. I downloaded this tech quite a while ago. CFS Perhonen. So this was his design. I condensed it down into what you see here. Largely differences being that uh, I don't have the input here or the extra scrapper. Uh, this delivery cannon here I've removed. Um, I guess sometimes parts, components get through the system without actually being consumed by the uh, by the fabricators. Uh, in my case, I just have it drop off and return to a silo here for for use uh, in the future. Um, I have all four fabricators on here, but you can only use one at a time, otherwise the system gets clogged up. And I realized yesterday that this is now out of date uh, because some of the newer parts. Um, in, in my case yesterday, uh, I tried to craft a big Bertha. I could not do it in this system. Uh, what I ended up having to do was take out the silo, uh, this stuff here, complete the loop of conveyor, and add an extra component factory here. Uh, uh, without any dongles, uh, it got the job done, um, but there was a few uh, resources that ended up just floating around in a circle here. Uh, this has worked quite well for me uh, for, for quite some time. Um, I condensed it down because I wanted to put it into a vehicle, uh, which, which I did do a big mobile base combining this fabrication system with my mobile bricker system uh, into one vehicle, but it was <laughs> it's very hard to get around. I mean, you really have to pick your pass if you're going through rough terrain. Uh, I don't really use it anymore because it is so difficult to move. But uh, I'll show you that and I'll show you something else that I created. I, I really had uh, this, this desire to make a system where you don't have to always keep feeding bricks into the scrappers to feed your fabricators. So what I ended up doing, oh, uh, let's see. Oops. Let's just go out kind of kind of into the middle of nowhere. And I'm gonna show you what I created. Now this thing is not really efficient. I, I need to set up a bit of a perimeter here. Now I have these little towers. Get rid of that guy. Okay. I'm not sure how big I'll need. This thing is pretty big. Uh, during construction, I hit the build limit in regards to the size of tech that you can make. Now it's certainly not going to be that big, but let's see what happens here. So. What did I call it? Mega Factory. Okay. So I made this thing with some, some big silos. There's a fabricator in each. And unfortunately when you spawn these in you have to you have to set them up. So that will continually craft those, etc, etc. I'll probably just skip ahead uh, to show you guys how it works after I set, set up all these fabricators. Okay, so I've got all the fabricators set up to fabricate blocks in their respective colors. They're all color-coded here, as you can see. 
I have a, uh, a SCU close enough to my fabricator here to pick up any parts that I collect without being too close to my scrappers. Uh, because to, to load this thing up, it's really as simple as this. I go into my, my resources here. This is where I have my blocks. I just dump some here. Uh, oops, forgot about that. That's okay, some can get sucked in there. Oh, where's my pacemaker? Alright, let's speed that up. We'll just put a few of each in here. Okay, now that that stuff's getting loaded, let's just hop in here and have a look at what's going on. So, each resource color has its own filters pick up refined and unrefined, the refined bypasses, the uh, the refineries, oh, it all gets filtered into these silos. So these, these bins can hold quite a few blocks, but of course they can get full, but uh, I just wanted to see if it could be done, you know? So we'll let that get filtered in. We can go and collect some resources in the meantime. So the basic idea here is you can, you can feed bricks in here to the scrappers and it gets sorted into the appropriate bins. You can also collect and come here, have all your stuff picked up, and it gets sorted into the appropriate bins. Let's have a look here. So these refined resources will get fil filtered out and put right into the fabricators where they belong. And it just pops in there, and of course there's a scrapper at the bottom of each of these bins. And when I first spawned it in, I still had some delivery cannons on some of these conveyors. And I was just selling off some resources as I... as I was dismantling it. So you can pretty much fill these right up. Oh, apparently that was stuck in there. Let's just feed it back through the system. Or not. So the idea was that I, I realize this is not mobile at all and it pretty much is a big lag machine because once it's once these bin, bins are all full, uh, there's a lot of parts on the screen at any given time and that's a lot for your machine to handle. Uh, I just wanted to see if it could be done, if you could have reservoirs of bricks. Um, and this is how it turned out, my mega factory. Let's just have a quick look at uh, what I was talking about before, my big mobile base that ended up being not that great, honestly. Um, where are we going to put this thing? Oh, we're missing blocks, all right. I'm going to dismantle this thing and then I'll come back and show you my mobile base. Alright, so my mobile base. Now, it's not great, all right? Just letting you know. So 
here it is in its stationary form. I just rip this off and it's then mobile. I mean, barely. <laughs> Put lots of wheels underneath it. And basically built into this thing we have the same setup that I have on my mobile bricker. So I can take this little guy, go collect a bunch of resources, come under these repair bubbles, get repaired, offload all of the resources onto these receivers, and they all get bricked. Um, I also have it filtering out uh, stacks in the filtered node silos to have some raw resources for those few bricks that do require them, or, or blocks rather. Uh, then I have my my factory set up in the middle of it here. And it's also set up so that if I if I pick up any uh, refined resources, uh, components, or whatever the case may be, if I happen to get those sorts of parts in here, they do filter out and end up up here into uh, this silo right here uh, to be used in in future fabrications. And I found it very tedious to move this thing around, so you really have to pick your path. I'd have to go and clear a path with uh, with my collector. Always have towers up for defense. Um, it was very just very tedious to move around. Uh, the reason, main reason why I built this is because I don't always want to be setting up factories uh, or fabricators rather. I don't always want to be unloading um, all of these scrappers in order to send this back to SCU and move base again. Uh, that's the part of the game that I thought was tedious, so I tried to make this all-in-one mobile base to do that for me. And it just didn't work out. I just went back to running my uh, my mobile bricker, which is over there. And, uh, and that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, maybe you found it informative and interesting. Um, I spent a lot of time building that that mega factory, it was a lot of time, again I just wanted to see if it could be done, I uh, just like trying different things, and even if it doesn't work, it's a learning experience, it's fun, uh, it's like a big game of Legos. <laughs> uh, so that's about it, thanks for watching, you have a good one.